name is Katie from Paul Smith Library in Shrewsbury, part of the York County Library System. Today, I'm going to show you how to do salt painting. So to do salt painting, you just need a couple of things. Um, the first is a piece of cardstock. Um, so you could just use plain white paper, um, but the thicker the paper you have is better. Uh, you could even use like, even like a piece of cardboard from a cardboard box or whatever you have on hand at home. Um, you're going to use school glue. Um, just, you know, white glue. You need salt, just regular table salt. And then you need um, a small bowl of water with a couple drops of food coloring in it. And then a paintbrush. So first thing that I'm going to do is gonna first take everything off of my cardstock. And I'm doing this on a cookie sheet. Um, you'll see why in a few minutes. Um, so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a design with my glue. Um, if you wanted to do something like print it on a piece of paper, like a design and then just go over the design in glue, you could also do that as well. Um, but today I'm just gonna make a simple sunshine with glue. So I'm gonna do a circle and a couple of arms on the sun. And then, once you have your design all ready, just do really quickly. You can take your salt, so take just your regular table salt. Um, you could use it in a shaker. Um, I'm just gonna use it directly from the container. So I'm gonna lightly sprinkle it on, just like this, on top of my glue. You want to make sure all of your glue is covered and if you're doing this with more than one drawing you can kind of save the salt so you're not wasting all of the salt you know for your next artwork so after you do that i covered my glue all with the um with the salt and now i'm just going to gently shake off the excess salt so i have my sunshine right here with the salt on top of it um, so I used the glue and then I did it with the salt and then you're going to take, um, your, your water that you put a couple drops of food dye in, um, and you're going to dip your paintbrush in it and you're just going to lightly touch the salt. And you can see as you do that, the paint kind of travels along the salt and you get a pretty picture. There you go. And this is salt painting. Uh, so you can do different colors. Um, sometimes um, if you're doing different colors, it'll make like a fun tie dye effect depending on what your picture is. Um, but you just need to gently tap it and then give it a couple hours to dry. Um, it is a little bit messy, but it's a lot of fun to watch the paint travel along the, the glue and salt. So there you go. This is salt painting for you. Have a great day.